4.6, sketching a curve with known stationary points or with stationary points you've calculated um, using the skills from section 4.5. This is uh, the last video in my ultimate revision guide um, calculus section for further maths GCSE. As with all the others, this index button will take you back to the, the index of um, topics and this bar here and it will have any questions that exam questions that I've been through on this topic so you can practice these skills okay so this is this is the uh, pulling it all together now um, working out stationary points what types of stationary points and then being able to sketch the curve of those points the key thing we've got to remember here is um, working out uh, the values of the points where they cross the x and y axis uh, as well as knowing the coordinates of the points where the the curves turn around, or the turning points, um, all the stationary points, in fact. So let's have a go at question one. Okay, we've got to solve the equation. We've got to solve the equation where x uh, x cubed plus three x squared equals zero. So part A, we've got to solve that. To solve that. Um, first of all, we can factorise out an x squared because x squared goes into both of those. So leave us x plus three equals zero. So x equals 0 and x equals minus 3 are the solutions. So that's an algebra question not really to do with this topic. Um, part B, let's work out the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve. So dy by dx will give us the, um, when that equals 0 will give us the stationary points. So uh, differentiate that we get 3x squared, differentiate this we get plus 6x. We want to make that equal to zero to get the stationary points. Um, again, we can factorize out an x, and then we're left with 3x plus 6 equals zero. Um, uh, that also, we can actually factorize out 3, so we get 3x x plus 2 equals zero. That gives us two solutions. One where x equals zero, because when x is zero, 3 times zero is zero, times that is zero. And the other one is where x equals minus 2. So those are two x values for our stationary points. Um, the y values we can get from the original um, equation, y equals x cubed plus 3x squared. So the y value that goes with x equals 0, um, sort of run out of space there, so let's just put a little arrow here. The y value that goes with that is just going to be 0. And the y value that goes with this, um, minus 2 cubed is minus 8, minus 2 squared, let's actually write this down, so minus 2 cubed plus three lots of minus two squared so that's minus eight plus minus two squared is four plus times three is twelve so that's four so y equals four so those are our two points so those are the coordinates now sketch the curve of this uh, function um, there's a very poor set of axes um, Right, so things we know. We know that it, cr it has two solutions. That means there's two points where it crosses the x-axis. One of those is 0, the other is minus 3. When I say cross, I mean not necessarily cross. It could be just touching. In fact, in this case it does. Okay, and then we've got um, two stationary points. One's at 0, 0, so that's a stationary point. And then we've got one um, that's at minus 2, 4. So minus 2, is another stationary point, so minus 2, 4. Now from that, we can uh, draw this curve. We should be able to draw this curve. There's only really, well, there's two possible things it could be. So we have, um, with cubic graphs, they look generally, sort of the standard one looks like this, but in general, we, we should imagine them to be two humps like that. So one going, one maximum, one minimum. Or if it's a negative x cubed, it comes down one minimum, one maximum, like that. Um, now we could analyze these two points, um, 0, 0, and minus 2, 4, to decide whether they're maximums and minimums. We could do that, or we could know the general shape of, a, of an x cubed, positive x cubed graph is this one here. So it should come up through that point, get a maximum there, minimum here, and then back up off to infinity. Now we know that's the case because if we think about what happens when x gets very large, we've got a very large number cubed plus a very large number squared, 
that's going to be a very large positive number. So as this goes off to very large numbers in the x direction, the y direction also goes to very large numbers. So I know it's going off that way. And that's the only way we can draw through these uh, maximums and minimums and through this point on the axis is um, with that shape of graph. If I knew this was going um, off to minus infinity, then I would know it comes in, in through here, um, touches there, you know, in through here, and somehow turns right now. Hang on, right? Yes, yeah, so this is the only shape it can be. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. We could, I mean, if you want to be absolutely certain, we could use the second differential, d2y by dx squared, which is equal to this thing differentiated, which is going to be 6x plus 6. And we could make uh, when x equals 0, d2y by dx squared equals 6. Therefore, a minimum. So there's our minimum there at 0. And when x equals um, minus 2, the d2y by dx squared is going to be uh, minus 12 plus 6, which is minus 6, which is a maximum. So that's a maximum. And that's what we had. Okay, so that's that's the sketch. Most of this question is, is to do with other parts of the calculus. Uh, well, an algebra question followed by a bit of calculus for the stationary points, and then the curve sketching is the last part. So knowing how to draw these curves on. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, this is a, a, a quartic. It's got a power of four on it. Um, we've got to show this only has one stationary point. So part A again is not to do with this topic really. It's just it's it's um, four point five stationary points, so we need to do dy by dx equals 4 minus 4x to the 3. And then uh, we've got to show that equals to 0 in any one place, so we're going to try to solve this, so we get 4x cubed, we take that over to there, equals 4. Divide by the 4, we get x cubed equals 1, so x is the cube root of 1, which is 1, and therefore only 1 stationary point. Okay, so that's A. B, sketch the curve. So we know that's a stationary point uh, when x equals 1. Uh, the y coordinate, when x equals 1, y equals um, 4 lots of 1 minus 1 to the power of 4, which is just 1, so that's going to be 3. 4 times 1 is 4, typically 1 is 3. So 1, 3 is our stationary point. Uh, what type of stationary point is it? So if we differentiate it again, um, d2y by dx squared, uh, we get a differential of that. It's going to be 0. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12. So it's going to be minus 12x squared. And we know that x equals 1. So that tells us that d2y by dx squared equals um, minus 12 lots of 1 squared, which is minus 12, therefore a maximum, and therefore our curve, um, what do we know about it? Well, we know um, as one turning point, which is at 1, 3, so at 1, 3, we've got a turning point, um, didn't actually find any, any solutions. To, what we need to know is where it crosses the axes. Um, if we look at this, um, let's go quickly go back to this. Uh, if we factorise out the x, we get 4 minus x cubed. So x equals 0 is a solution, so 0, 0 is going to be a solution. And the other one is going to be when this is equal to 0. So Let's do this down here. So 4 minus x cubed equals 0. So 4 equals x cubed. So x equals uh, the cube root of 4, whatever that number is. Now you can use a calculator, um, or you can just you could even just put the cube root of 4 on there, on your axes like that. We know this is a maximum, so we know the cut the, the curve comes up, it touches that one and then comes down and goes through that one. We don't know what else happens, but those are the points where it touches the axes. That's the turning point. That's 
uh, all we need to do to sketch that graph. Okay, so that concludes my videos on calculus. Hopefully they've been helpful. Um, hopefully I'll have some practice questions for you to work on throughout. Uh, hopefully you'll do well on this topic.